Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston and Space Station Live. Activities are getting back to normal both in space and here on the ground in the International Space Station Flight Control Room. After a few exceptionally busy days over the weekend and Monday, and one off-duty day for the crew yesterday. Today, Flight Director Chris Edelin is leading the Orbit 2 team of flight controllers with Hal Getzelman in the Capcom seat. In space, the three members of the Expedition 36 crew are working through their first day of activities alone on the station, following the departure of their Expedition 35 crewmates on Monday. NASA flight engineer Chris Cassidy and Russian flight engineers Pavel Vinogradov and Alexander Misurkin said goodbye on Monday to Tom Marshburn, Chris Hadfield, and Roman Romaninko, and they're now getting uh, awaiting the launch of their new crewmates, Karen Nyberg, Fyodor Yurchikin, and Luca Parmitano, later this month. Cassidy, Vinogradov, and Misurkin themselves launched to the station on March 28th and docked that same day leaving them with a tally of 47 days now, both in space and at the space station. They're currently orbiting 256 miles above the South Pacific Ocean, heading northeast towards uh, the coast of Canada. The main task on the agenda today for flight engineer Chris Cassidy is work with the Burning and Suppression of Solids Experiment, or BASS, which looks at how materials burn in zero gravity and whether they're more or less flammable in space than they are here on the ground. In addition to that work, Cassidy also opened up the shutters on the window in the Destiny Laboratory to allow the iServe experiment to run on its own. That investigation is an automated system for taking photos of the Earth's surface from the space station. And although the photos can be useful for disaster monitoring and assessment and environmental decision making, the main purpose of the exp experiment is to provide experience and expertise in automated data acquisition from the space station. Another experiment running on its own today in the background is the amine swing bed investigation, which is aimed at determining whether a vacuum regenerated amine system can effectively remove carbon dioxide from the space station's air more efficiently. And on the Russian, Russian side of the space station today, flight engineer Alexander Masurkin is working on the identification experiment, which looks at the dynamic loads put on the space station during operations such as docking, reboost, spacewalks, and of course undocking, such as those performed by the departing members of the Expedition 35 crew in their Soyuz TMA-07M on Monday. That's what's going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.